guys! So today is my March Birchbox versus Ipsy unboxing. Ipsy's been really good the last couple months, and Birchbox has really been really bad. I think when I first started doing this, Birchbox was always pretty bad, and Ipsy was always pretty good. And then Birchbox started getting better, and now they're just not very good again. So I don't know why that is, what's going on, but they need to step it up. So hopefully today's box is really good. I'm just going to start with Birch Box today. Alright, so the box is super cute. There it is. I love this. So hopefully what's inside is just as good. Alright, so the first thing I see is from Cargo, and it is an eyeshadow duo. I don't think I've tried much from Cargo. They're both like metallic y. They're soft, so that's good. Yeah, they're kind of chalky. I don't know. Eh. Yeah, they don't swatch very well, especially. The brown one's okay, but that gold one is not the best. So, I don't know. I'll play around with it. But it looks like it's like a full size item, so that's good. Alright, next is a clarifying face cleanser from Nerd Skincare. I think that's what it is. It doesn't really have a smell or anything, so. See, so yeah, it's a nice size sample. You can get a couple uses out of that, so that's good. Alright, next is a shampoo. I feel like I've gotten this before. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got in this box, and I already have it from a different box. So. That happens like all the time. I feel like I've gotten the same item like three or four times. So yeah, I got that again. Unless I got that in my Ipsy bag, but I'm pretty sure I got it in my birch box. So yeah, got a shampoo and then a little tiny conditioner that probably won't even cover half of my hair because this is like nothing. But, but yeah. All right, next is a lip balm, it looks like. Yeah, lip balm from Dr. Lip teeny tiny. I'm trying to get some product out, but something's coming out. Oh, it's like real thick. Yeah, it's like really thick. Oh, geez. It's like, um, Carmax. Is that what it's called? Carmax? It's like that. It reminds me of that. So hopefully that's good, but there's not very much in it, so I don't know. Alright, so next is this. It's like a holographic thing. I don't know what this is at all. It just says Pinrose. It looks like it's perfume, but I don't know how oh, these two packets. Uh oh. Whew. It's like a sheet. It actually doesn't smell that horrible, but it smells a little like alcohol because of what it's in. I don't know. Yeah, so the another thing that Birchbox always does is give you a perfume sample, so yeah, that. Not good at all. I mean, the face wash I might use, the hard eyeshadow is not very good. There's not very much of the chapstick, and I already got the shampoo. So, hey. Alright, so let's move on to Ipsy. Hopefully this is good. It's really heavy, so. Oh, pretty bag. I like that. It's one of my favorites we've ever gotten. Be using that in my actual purse. Um, okay, it's talking about spring. Yeah, it's really heavy. Oh, nice. Okay, so I got a um, NYX liquid suede lipstick. Looks like one of the liquid lipsticks, I think that's what these are. It's in the color Kitten Heels. I don't remember if people like these or not. I don't remember. Maybe I really haven't heard much about them. But it's a full size product. I think these are probably like the five or six dollar range, so that's really good. I was hoping it smelled like their um butter gloss and stuff, but it does not. But I like the dope foot applicator, it's kind of flat. Ooh, it's really like super pigmented. You don't have to work for that at all. So I'm gonna let this sit and let it see if it dries. Is that what it's supposed to do? It just says cream lipstick. So I'm not sure if these are supposed to kind of dry down or what, but that's a really pretty color. 
off to a good start. All right, next is a brush, and I really don't mind getting brushes. I think we get brushes a lot in Ipsy, and I've always been happy with them. They're always good brands. So, so yeah, this is like a um, kind of like flatter, fluffy brush. I use this for blush or highlight. Um, it reminds me a lot of one of the e.l.f. ones. I forget what it's called. But it's just like a, yeah, like a flatter powder brush. But yeah, this is great for powder and all that kind of stuff. It's from Me, Me, Me is a brand, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, definitely don't mind that at all. It's really soft, it's not shedding or anything, so yay. All right, next is Organic Surge Daily Care Comforting Hand and Nail Cream. That's nice, in Lavender Meadow, and it's a nice big size. I love lavender or anything. And this is cool, we get a lot of hand creams, but this one is nail and hand cream, so that's always good because uh, my nails are always dry. My um, my cuticles are always dry, so. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm, I love that. Yeah, I love lavender, so. So yeah, I'm excited for that. All right, this is from Tempt You, and it's a, it looks like a liquid bronzer. It just says bronzer warm glow. I don't wear cream products too often, like liquid, because I have oily skin, but it might be something good to, I like the color actually. It's a little orange, but it's kind of, it's good to put like underneath foundation for like a really natural look. Come on, that was like a tiny dot and it gave me that much. So this is pretty, it's really natural. So yeah, I will definitely use that. Oh yay! The last thing is Living Proof Dry Shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I love it. I have one sitting. I'm right. Oh, you can't see it. But sitting on my vanity, it's this size. I got it. I don't remember where I got it, but I just used it up, and I love this stuff. I love my Batiste. Definitely, it's great. But this stuff is a lot more expensive, and like for good reason because it's really, really nice. It soaks up all your oil. It doesn't feel like anything's in your hair. It's so nice. So I love this. I'm so glad we got this. That's why it was so heavy. This is big. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. The This alone was like enough for me because I love it. And I'm really excited for the NYX lip thing. The NYX lipstick. And this bronzer is really cool. I like that. And the nice hand cream. So, and of course the brush. So yeah, we got five, we got five great products this time. I'm really happy with it. All right, so that's everything I got in both boxes and bags. I think... I'm gonna have to cancel my birch box. I've been trying so hard not to because I feel like every time it starts getting bad, it starts getting good again. Like the next box is really good, but this has just been really bad. And I got another duplicate product, which is so annoying. Like I'm so sick of getting the same things over and over again. So maybe I'll give it one more try. So I'll do like the April box, and then if it's bad, I'm gonna just cancel it. But I'm just always happy with Ipsy, and I actually feel like I use the products. So it's a bummer. But yeah, let me know down below what you got in your Ipsy Birch Box. If you got a similar, a similar one to me, or I think there's a lot of, I think I read somewhere that Ipsy had a lot of really great products in this bag. So let me know if you got something really good in yours. I would love to know. And if you canceled your Birch Box, um, let me know that too, because I feel like a lot of people are canceling theirs because it's just not that great. So, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!